Tomorrow is not promised. You believe this, you will go to hell, and there will be no remedy because you knew the truth, because what I say bears witness with your conscience that these things they teach are not true. But it's a comfortable doctrine. It's a comfortable religion. But it is a dead church. There is no Spirit of God. There's no life here. Life is found in Jesus Christ as God. Not Jesus Christ, a little God. Jesus Christ is Lord. King of kings, Lord of lords. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. He is the Almighty God. The Everlasting Father. The Prince of Peace. Do you know Him? No, you don't. Because you know Jesus as a little God. You will not be prepared to see Him as the Almighty God, as the Prince of Peace, as the Everlasting Father. You won't know Him when He returns. And you will be those folks who bang on the door after He shut it and say, Lord, let us in. And He'll say, Depart from me, workers of iniquity. You've believed the false prophet and you've followed a lie. And you will go to hell. This is a true reality. God commands us to warn you people the truth. The truth is all around you. The Holy Bible can be found all around you other than the book you have. You must repent and believe the Gospel that Jesus is Lord, He is God, He is King of Kings. Go, 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 go. 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 But God has commanded us to warn you. God has commanded us to tell the truth. And the truth bothers people. The truth bothers you because it bears witness with your conscience that we are speaking the truth. That Jesus is more than a little God. That Jesus is the Son of God. He is God Almighty. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Many will say, Lord, Lord, haven't we done these things in your name? And he'll say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. Who can bear to hear that? Who could bear the thought of that on Judgment Day? But many that go here, I'd say all, if you do not flee this place, will be thrown in the lake of fire. It is a real place. The lake of fire is not temporary torment. The lake of fire is eternal damnation from the presence of the Lord. The Bible says that we were created in the image of God. The image of God. God is eternal, so are we. You will go to one place or the other. There's a heaven and there's a hell. Jesus preached more about hell than he did heaven. And we're out here because we care about you and love you. 